as you can see, my helmets, my shut ion 40, and my DNA Pro helmet. As you can see, it has the little bull ring. Hate that. Hey, I don't, I'm not a big fan of bull rings. I'm gonna get a different visor. So, I mean, a different face mask. So, and uh, yeah, it went. It went through like from spring until the championship week. Um, we played 14 games. I'm grateful to come out 14 and 0. Yeah, never high school. From Louisiana. Colors black and gold. As you can see, we have a big sticker on the back of Veterans Day and Breast Cancer and the coach passed away, Charlie Brown, those C B stands for. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. Helmet. Then we take a look in the inside. Uh you see these pads. It's like circles or something. Hard. It's like plastic. It's not hard, but it's plastic. Alright. Yeah. As you can see, it's circles. And inside, got the shut chin strap. Boring is what it's like to wear it. Now, moving on to the Ion Big Boy. I like this helmet. It cost me $294. And it came with the face mask. Um likes it. It stands out. I mean it's it looks aggressive. Yeah. I wore both helmets, but I wore this one the most. And I uh, went through 14, well, actually 14 and a half weeks of the season hard working. Now counting spring, uh, you can see I went through a lot of hitting. As you can see, TPU cushioning. You see cushioning and inside the helmet is extremely comfortable. Shut chin strap. This is what it's like to look at the inside of it. This is what it's like to look at the inside of it. Really nice. Um this is what it looks like. The four holes the top it has an aggressive look. It's a big helmet on the head just this is a large, but it looks like an extra large on my head. I mean, the new helmet, the newer helmets, like the Revo Speed, Revo Speed 3, 360, the Zenith X1, and the Rydell Revolution. This one is like bigger than most, but it's not heavy at all. Uh, I modified it myself by putting a screw right there because I got tired of straps popping off so I just screwed it in there. Pretty neat idea. It looks rugged. It's like it gives you that fierce look. Instead of the plain Jane. As you can see the comparison is different of these two helmets. This is one piece. Like this is just one piece. Once these are not really screws. I don't know what they are. They're like springs. They look like screws, but it's just springs. This this is all one piece. Like unscrew this, the whole white piece just comes off. On this one, when you unscrew this, this part comes off. Like you just take that off. Do you unscrew that one? Then that come off. No, this is like one piece. And you don't even have screws. You have these wedges. Um, we was practicing. It came out, and my face mask got started to get loose. Bad thing about this. Bad thing about this helmet. When you get hit, you feel it. I mean, you really feel it. But on this helmet, when you get hit, I mean, it absorbs the hit. It reduces 10% of pressure. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go above that. I'll be just lying. Rugged look. Rugged look. 
This is my helmet. Hope you really like it. And soon I'll be getting the Revel Speed 360. But I'm still having these ones. Really nice helmets.